Welcome to the video fitting instructions for SpinaMed. This video is intended for clinicians to learn more about the fitting process for the SpinaMed osteoporosis brace. SpinaMed is sized based on the length of the patient's spine. To measure for SpinaMed, run a soft tape measure topographically from C7 to S1. The tape measure should follow the curve of the patient's spine. The size chart for SpinaMed shows the options in both inches and centimeters. This can be found on the website and in the Medi catalog. If the patient is between sizes, we recommend sizing up. To shape the aluminum split, remove it from the back pocket. This is done by opening the slot at the bottom of the SpinaMed and pulling the splint out. Hold the splint against the patient's spine while they stand unsupported in their most upright position. Starting at the SI junction, bend the splint moving along the spine so that it matches exactly. The aluminum can be cold molded against a soft surface such as the thigh. Do not try to bend it against a hard surface. Once the splint is shaped to match the patient's spine, reinsert it back into the back pocket. Once the aluminum splint is back in the pocket, the posterior panel can be attached. Lay the panel on a table with the side closure tabs facing up and the bottom tongue open. Lay the SpinaMed on the panel so the bottom of the brace and the bottom of the panel are aligned. Fold the bottom tongue up over the back pocket and close it in the center. Close the right tab onto the back panel and the left tab over the right. The center back strap can be placed over the posterior panel as needed. If the patient requires an anterior panel for added support, this is available separately. Apply it by laying the panel on top of the device. Close the left panel over it and fasten the two Velcro tabs. This can be added either before or after the initial fitting process. To continue the fitting process, have the patient put on SpinaMed like a backpack. Assist the patient in closing the right panel over the left and position it just above the pubic bone. Have the patient hold the panel in this position. Working from behind the patient, place the back panel correctly, centered and aligned with S1, and then secure the pelvic straps. Once both straps are secure, confirm placement of the back panel and that the pelvic straps are anchored below ASIS. Once the pelvic straps and back panel position are confirmed, it's time to tension the shoulder straps. Start by feeding any excess strap from the anterior panel up through the underarm turnbuckle and out through the shoulder tunnel. The strap can then be fastened back on itself. The tension is correct when you can pass a few fingers between the strap and the patient's collarbone. Adjust one side, then do the same process on the other side. Now that the straps are set, all the excess strap can be trimmed from each point and the Y connectors fastened back onto SpinaMed. The shoulder pads can now be positioned. These should extend from just above the collarbone down into the armpit to prevent rubbing. The SpinaMed is now fit and it is time to educate the patient on how to put SpinaMed on, take it off, and wear it according to the therapy guidelines. Have the patient stand in front of a mirror and put SpinaMed on several times until you are sure they can do it without issue. Explain that using the mirror ensures they are in their most upright position and can easily see what they are doing. Once you are comfortable with their ability to use SpinaMed, 
plan a second visit to adjust or refit the device in about 45 days. At that time, you will want to check their progress and adjust the shape of the back splint as needed.